Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cami. Today's video is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. I went there today after I went to the gym. We just did like a quick little stop just because I haven't gone in like two and a half months or so at this point. Um, so I just wanted to share with you guys what I got. So if you're new, I'll hope you will subscribe and let me know if you guys want to see more types of Dollar Tree hauls because I do like to shop at the Dollar Tree. I know people hate on it, but I like it. I think even my husband hates on it, but whatever. Okay, so let's just get into the haul. So I have two bags right here. I'm just going to start with this first bag. So the first thing I got was this Garnier... Or whatever that name brand thing is um, for Tease. It's a wonder mask and it has a step one and a step two. It's a nourishing mask and a care sealer. But I thought this would be nice. You guys can. This thing that I found. Okay, so the second thing I got is this. It's Ba. It's by April Bath and Shower, which I know they have a lot of those products at the Dollar Tree. I think it might be, yeah, a Green Buyer product, so it's the Dollar Tree brand. Um, but it's a hand and nail gloves. It says it's nourishing, softening, and uplifting. I was looking for one for your feet, but I couldn't find any, but I found this, so I thought I'd give it a try. And I guess it's just gloves that you put on, and it's supposed to make your hands really soft. And the next mask I got is this paper facial mask. It's by the Bolero brand. And it's cucumber and aloe and it's for all skin types it says. But I like face masks so I figured I'd try this one. Okay now the next thing I got is a jade roller and I don't know if it was already broken in the store when I got it or if I broke it like putting it in my car or whatever um, but it was in half and I super glued it when I got home so it's now like fine but it was broken I don't know if I did it or just didn't notice it or what or Parker broke it and I also got one of these microfiber hair wraps I already have one of these and I like it and it works good I just do my hair up after I take a shower I got one in yellow and it's just like, I don't know, like putting a towel on your head but it's a lot smaller and I just like the fact that it's smaller than a big, big towel. Then the next thing I got was, I think I got two of these, I'll find the other one at some point, but I got two of these little Glade um, air fresheners for our bathrooms and this one is in red honeysuckle nectar and I thought that that would smell really good. I like to find the Glade ones um, just because it's a name brand product and I like them. So I got this. I got two of those. I also got some vitamin E oil. Now I think this is like bio oil. I think it's like the same thing. I might be completely wrong but I saw it and it's you know a dollar so I picked it up for like my stretch marks on my belly from having Parker. So I'll put this on. And then I got him some socks. Um, these look like big boy socks, but I figured I'd go ahead and get them just because they looked cute. And I don't know, you could probably fit into them now. I don't know. It says uh, fits shoe sizes one through seven, but it's for kids. And it's a three pack and they were each a dollar. This one has like basketballs and footballs on one. It comes with a black pair. And then also like this little striped pair. So I thought that was a good deal for like a buck. And then for this one, I think these are all stripes. So this one has these kind of stripes. And then this one is an all white pair. And then this one has those kind of stripes. I had a bunch of different socks in. The next thing I got is this little Age Defy Dark Circles and Puffiness Serum. Um, I noticed lately that I am extremely tired, so I thought I would just give this a try, see if it feels nice or whatever. You just 
I don't know, put it under your eyes. I don't really do a lot, a lot of skincare stuff, but I'm sure we're gonna try it. It says it helps with dark circles, puffiness, fine lines, and wrinkles. So, your girl's getting older. You know, I'm mommy, so I feel like I'm gonna get wrinkles a lot quicker. And then I got these little Airwick stick ups to put like a Parker's Diaper Genie. Um, there's, it comes with two. I could put one in like the Diaper Genie and then one in like our main trash area. But you just like stick them on the trash can or whatever it may be. And this is in Crisp Freeze Scent. And I also got some candy because why not? I got these for Parker. Um, they're Dum Dums, but I'm trying to potty train. And so I wanted to get him some like rewards. So these would be for going poo poo. Um, but these are the tropical ones. I don't, well, he's had like them regular ones. I don't know if these are like super different or what. But a bag of Dum Dums to help with potty training. And for myself, I got these Black Forest Swirly Bears. I don't know. I like gummy bears, so hopefully those will be good. And then I also got these Sweet Tarts ropes. If you guys haven't tried Sweet Tart ropes, they are delicious. They're like my husband's favorite candy. Candy. He likes the regular ones, but I saw these ones were new, so I thought we would give them a try. Twisted Rainbow. They used to be called something else. I can't remember he told me, but I forgot. Okay, that was it for that bag. We're moving on to my second and final bag. So like I said, we're trying to potty train. And right now he just, I'm like, okay, let's try the potty. And like, he'll go and sit on the potty and immediately be like, no. No, mama, no. I will have to be like, if you want a sticker, you have to go pee pee a boo boo. So I got him these stickers. Um, these are pirate ones, but there's 300 stickers in here. So I figured that would last quite a while, but it's a, big thing of stickers and he likes pirates so I figured these would be a good like incentive to go pee pee on the potty so hopefully that'll help and then he picked out he picked out some coloring books there's that other glade thing so yeah he picked out three so he wanted Paw Patrol so we got this it's a jumbo coloring book um pups rescue it's a good size. I don't know how many pages it has. But it has a good amount of pages for a dollar for a coloring book. And he goes through. It's not like he like color colors. He just kind of scribbles. So we got that one he picked out. Then um, I showed him the Ryan one because he likes Ryan. And he was like, yeah, he wanted the Ryan one. So we got another. It's called Jumbo, but it's not really like that big. I don't know if it's just for like little kids. That's why they call them Jumbo. But it's a coloring and activity book. I don't know what makes it an activity book. Okay. Yeah, well, it looks to be about the same size as the Paw Patrol one. And this one says 2020 on this one. This one says 2016. So this one is definitely newer. And then the last one he got, he... He, saw, he said Butterbean, which if you guys have toddlers or like girl toddlers or whatever you may know of the show, I mean, he watches it and he wanted Butterbean. So that's perfectly fine. It's a, I think they're like fairies that bake. I know he likes the show. Um, but this one says Funtivity on it. Crafts, recipes, and more. But it's what he wanted, so what we picked up it's definitely different than the regular coloring books it's got it's like more like an activity book so we'll probably have to save this one to try it's got like word activities and stuff um let's see what the date is on this one this one is 2019 so i got three different books for him to color on and then i got some push pens just because I had a big thing of push pins and I have no idea where they went and it's a pretty decent deal to get 120 push pins for a dollar. And then same thing with crayons. He goes through a lot of crayons and he breaks a lot of crayons trying to color. They had a smaller pack of I think just like more or bigger crayons but it was only like 10 and this pack is 48 crayons. So I thought this was a much better deal even if they're not gigantic and it says that they're non-toxic on here so I thought this was a good deal for $1.48 crayons 
And then the last thing I got was just these magnetic dry erase markers because we have a magnetic dry erase board on our fridge and Parker broke the like one that came with it, like the marker. So I picked up some of these. Um, they're magnetic so they can just hang on the fridge. But yeah, that is all I got from the Dollar Tree. And well, Parker got a like lollipop toy. He picked out Sky from the Paw Patrol. That's what he wanted. So he got a Sky lollipop thing, but he has it right now. So I'm not going to show you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and enjoyed seeing what I got. If you guys haven't been to the Dollar Tree lately, go and check it out. They always have like good items, in my opinion, just like new and different things. Depends on where your Dollar Tree is located because I know I have like three near me and like one of them's like better than the other ones. Um, and if you're obviously if you're comfortable going out if your state is allowing stuff and whatnot but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this haul and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys